Is a non-black person or only a white person, let's say, a guest, quote unquote, in the hip hop genre? So, hey guys, welcome to Rap Philosophy, a rap podcast where we talk about rap, music, news, and culture. And so Eminem does these things where he hires his own people to interview him. No, he's funny, which dude. is which is kind of it's kind of like that's okay, comical, bro. bro. They're just gonna serve you softballs, but right, right, it's right. cool. I mean, it's smart of him. What this thing called curing him and like no, so it's like. He oh. know like he hires like Sway and like other artists that he's cool with to interview him because oh. he knows. I feel like, and this is just me projecting. He knows they're gonna just throw him softball questions, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, which is which is smart on his part. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's funny at the same time. It's hilarious. But yeah, so he was he had Crooked Eye interview him. Here, I'll pull the clip up and then we can discuss it. Man, and being that much of a you know a part of the culture. <clears throat> History books are going to definitely put you as one of the greatest of all time. How do you feel about the concept of white rappers being a guest in the house of hip hop? Well, I mean, that's a funny thing. I I don't know if I've got a chance to say this yet, but um, the funny the funny shit is like I I with with the whole. He, yeah, he's real nervous to answer the question. <laughs> I feel like he's really being calculated. Yeah. <laughs> the funny shit is like I, I with with the whole beef of a certain person. Right. <clears throat> I never said I wasn't a guest. Right. Like I'm absolutely a guest. Like I, I never said I wasn't. Right. And I never said I was king of anything. Right. Like right. I had a song called Kings Never Die, but. It wasn't me saying that was one of the beats that Khalil sent me with the hook on it. That was the right. concept of the song, and I'm like, I can't say I'm the king of hip hop. Right, right, right. right. I say so. I threw Run DMC in there, Jam Master J. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. It was trying to like because I never want to be like I don't want to be the, the king of hip hop. Who the fuck is the king of hip hop? Yeah. Like, is there a king of hip hop? Like, I don't. Yeah. Like, nah, I feel you on that. People would say people would say just because you sell the most record doesn't mean you're the best. Just right. because you. Can rap forty million syllables doesn't mean the best. Like I care more about rhyming the syllables. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I I care more about the craft than any of the other. And, and that shows. So he he calls himself a guest in hip hop. Yeah. Well, no. So this is the first time he's actually ever done it. Mm-hmm. He he's definitely a student of hip hop. This is the first time he's actually called himself a guest in hip hop, though. And I, I find that, I found like he was being real calculated with the way he wanted to say it. But I don't know why he was so calculated when he just said, I absolutely am a guest in hip hop. Do you think, I, you know, I would have never, this is a good conversation, but I would have never thought, or do you, I mean, is a non black person or only a white person, let's say, a guest, quote unquote, in the hip hop genre? So. Here's my thoughts. I think so. There's the narrative that that hip hop is a black black sport. Mm-hmm. It's a widely accepted. It's a widely accepted set. A widely accepted narrative. But I don't. I disagree. I don't think hip hop is just a black thing. I think sure, the people that make up hip hop are predominantly black, but there are black people that started hip hop. Hispanic people that started hip hop. Mm-hmm. The, it's not just a black and Hispanic thing, mm-hmm. right? So, I feel like Eminem is just going with the status quo because he has a career to protect. Yeah. Right. You think so? You think he would have turned around and said, "I'm not a guest in hip hop." Heck no. You think he would have been in trouble for that? Yeah, he definitely would have been in trouble. <laughs> he, He's he, smart. Yeah, he definitely would have been in trouble for it. I feel like if he'd have said. I feel like he probably could have got away with it if he would have said something to the effect of, oh, well, I'm right along. I'm in hip hop. Like, I'm in the house of hip hop with everybody else. Well, oh, that would have been good too. I feel like also it's like, it's like the fact that he said this now, it's interesting. It's like, I feel like he just didn't want to say it and agree with Lord Jamar. You know, it's yeah. like, he's like, nah, Lord Jamar, get, I'm not going to say that, but he wanted to do it on his own terms. You know, let me set up the cameras, let me set up this little interview. You know, of course, I'm against the hip hop. But. Did Lord Jamar respond to that? Because I feel like he's gonna he's gonna eat that up. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, I think Lord Jamar responded on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken, 
I think he declares he's he declares himself a winner of this beef. I guess he is a winner. That he honestly, yeah. If that's the case, he is a winner. I expected Eminem to 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 deny that. Be like, no, no, no. I'm not a guest. I'm of hip hop. Like, I belong here. Like, but maybe I respect the fact that he doesn't want to be the one to say it. He knows that the fans and the industry accept him as part of hip hop. Like, not yeah. that he's a guest. He know. I mean, that's you know what I mean. But like, maybe he doesn't want to be a part of that. To say it himself, because you know, like cancel culture is different, is 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 is, is alive here. So mm. if he would have said anything closely, he would probably they would, they would probably try to cancel him again. Yeah, and I guess he probably to avoid that backlash, he probably was like, was like yeah, I'm okay, a guest. Yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 you know. And I guess he could have, you know, in a way, I guess he said in a way where it's like, even if he was black, he could have been like, yeah, I'm a guest in this music. I consider myself a guest. It doesn't matter. It's like, as if like, it's kind of a smart way to say it. It's kind of mm-hmm. like saying this music thing is, is, is the world and I'm a guest here. That's it. Doesn't yeah. Matter. It's black <laughs> like, or white, you know? He probably, is, he's kind of like trying to say it, but not give it the credence that yeah. it's, it's yeah. that the same way Lord Jamar is trying to discount it. Yeah. I get it. Although also giving, also I think it's a more empowering to hip hop too for him to say that, I guess. You know, it makes it feel like more respect towards the music industry, yeah. towards hip hop, to be like, yeah, I'm a guest here. And and everybody knows Eminem is, I think the humble play is working for him here, right? It's like, everybody knows that when he says, I'm not, I, how am I, I can't say I'm the king of hip hop. It's like, wow, because you got the Jay Z's and the 50 Cent's and the Lil Wings, everybody wants to be like, yeah, the I'm king, the yeah. king. But then you got this Eminem guy is like, like who had one of the most sell, you know, like the, one of the most su- one if, of the most if, successful if not artists, the successful artist in hip hop. If not the successful, being like, nah, somebody else could try to take on that title, but I'm not. That's cra- That's <laughs> that. That's really humbling, and it's also kind of like I think it sets a precedence to a lot of these like quote unquote bigger artists to be like, you know, you don't have to call yourself that. Just put out good, you know, the hits. That's insane. Yeah. Even I watched a little bit more of the interview. Even he says it's like, yo, like I pay, I pay respect to like the Grand Poobahs and the mm-hmm. the, uh, the Cool G Rats and the LL Cool J's. Like to me, those are my kings of hip hop. Yeah, I, I hate that Lord Jamar got the win though. It's annoying. Yeah, is Lord Jamar gonna have anything else to talk about now? That <laughs> he got nothing to say. He's like, like he's gonna no, find something. I'm no more Vlad find... TV for me. I gotta actually make music now. I'm going. I can't wait to see this Lord Jamar live TV video response to response it. to it. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's gonna be some BS, you know, where Vlad's like, "So what do you think?" You know, and Lord Jamar's gonna be like, ah, "Whatever that is." Yeah, it's say. probably gonna be laughing in victory laughing. or something, something yeah. Jamar esque. But, but you know, know, it kind of puts a. It's cool though. I feel like Eminem still want. I actually feel like sorry, control. I don't think he lost because it's like. He let himself get the. He didn't let Lord Jamar just win. He kind of like let himself. It's like he just he just put the the the, the fire out. You yeah. Know? Like no, nah, Lord Jamar ain't gonna win. Here it is. Yeah, I'm a guessing hip hop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now. So it is said. So he like he did the eight mile. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he did the eight, eight mile. mile. Yeah, exactly. He pulled the eight mile. He pulled the eight. Yeah. Pulled the eight rabbit. Yeah. He's like, yeah, my like, mouth is an effort. Oh, this that. Like, I'm gonna use what you said to me and then like yeah. against you. Like, okay. It's a good move. It's a good move. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Tell us what you thought. This has been the next episode of Rap Philosophy Podcast here on YouTube. See you guys. Peace.